Welcome back to a new episode where we will be adding a button at the bottom of our landing page and whenever a user clicks on it, he or she will be automatically scrolled down in a smooth way. Usually what you would do is to use JavaScript for this, but since we haven't talked about any JavaScript in this course, I want to solve this problem with something that is pretty new in HTML and CSS. Now before we continue on, we need to go to the website of FontAwesome because we want to find an arrow. So let's click on icons. Well, let's click on free as well. And let's write down arrow. And let's scroll down because I actually want the chevron down. Let's click on it. Let's copy the class. And let's go back to our index.html. So since we want to place the button in our container background, because we want it to be above the image, we need to go right below our content wrapper and we need to create a new div with a class of btn of button hyphen down. Before we continue on, we want our font awesome to be clickable. So therefore we need to create an anchor link. So let's write down a, hit tab, and in between the tags, let's paste our font awesome and let's save it so we can test the output in the browser. Let's refresh it. You can see that our font awesome is placed, well, right here at the moment. What we need to do now is to style it. So let's go back to our style sheet. Let me add some enters. So what we want to style first is our class and not the font awesome, but we actually want to style the div. So that's punctuation mark btn hyphen down. The first thing that I want to do is to style it in the center. So let's say margin zero auto, and let's set the text align to the center. Save it, refresh the browser, and you can see that, well, you probably can't see it, but it's placed right here. What we need to do next is to style the font awesome icon because, well, I actually want it to be visible. And since we will be using more font awesomes in this course, I don't want to style the global class, but I actually want to write down punctuation mark btn hyphen down space and I want to style the punctuation mark fast because that's actually the class name of our icon. So we're styling the font awesome inside our div. So let's add curly brackets and the first thing that I want to do is to change the color to white. So let's say color fff fff. I want it to be bigger. So the font size needs to be 40 pixels. Let's set the position equal to absolute. And let's set the bottom equal to zero pixels because we want it to be at the bottom of our landing page. So let's refresh it. And you can see that, well, it's actually placed at the bottom right now. But if we take a quick look, you can see that it's not placed right in the middle. So what we need to do is to go back to our style sheet and we can add a transform which is something new. What the transform property allows you to do is to visually manipulate an element by screwing, rotating, translating or scaling. And the value is translate which is a function so we need to add parentheses and we need to end it with a semicolon and in between the parentheses we want to use a double length percentage of minus 50% and minus 50%. So minus 50, comma, minus 50% again. So let's save it, refresh the browser, and you can see that it is well aligned in the middle right now. The minus 50 and minus 50 are values represented both the X and the Y coordinate and the translating vector. So if you go to the browser and we click on it, well, nothing is happening because we haven't written down a path. So let's go to our index.html. And if you remember, we created a div with an ID test. Well, we can actually use the test in our hyper reference of our button right now. So let's write down hashtag test, save it. And let's go back to our browser, refresh it. And let's click on the button and well, you can see that we're being redirected, but well, not in a pretty good way. So let's click on it again. 
And what we need to do in order to make it more smooth is to add a new styling to our HTML element in our style sheet. So let's go to our style sheet and we need to go to the HTML element at the top. And what we need to do is to set the scroll hyphen behavior equal to smooth. And this enables smooth scrolling to the whole page. And a quick note is that this does not work with Internet Explorer, Edge or Safari. So let's save it. Let's go back to the browser. Let's refresh the page. And since I'm not full screen right now, well, let me go down and say from the bottom, I want it to be 100 pixels. You don't need to do this, but since I'm not working on a full screen right now, you will not be able to see the button. And right now you can, so let's click on the button. And you can see that we will be scrolled down, well, pretty smoothly. And let's test it out one more time. Let's click on it. And this is actually what we want. This was it for this episode. And in the next episode, I want to introduce you to CSS Grid, which is the most powerful layout system available in CSS, so we could create multiple boxes next to each other. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.